Philippine Air Force has finally made a decision on the aircraft model which will fulfill its requirement of 12 units of trainer aircraft that would eventually replace its aging fleet of AS211 Warrior, which now reaches 31 years of service. Among the aircraft being considered are Ainbrier A29B Super Tucano, Beechcraft Textron T6C Texan II, Kai KT1 Wumbi, Aerovatica DL39 NG, Pilatus PC21, and Leonardo Air Mac EM345 High Efficiency Trainer. At first, POF personnel are divided if they would prefer a jet-powered aircraft, or will they return to turboprop-powered aircraft models, considering the AS211 Warrior is already powered by turbofan jet propulsion. However, POF TWG in late 2020 made its decision to go for a turboprop-powered trainer aircraft, taking out both the L39NG and M345 hat from the shortlist. By early 2021, POF TWG has identified its top choice for the project, and has began the negotiations with the top selection and it was identified as Kai's KT-1 Wumbi, with another aircraft model believed to be Beechcraft Textron's T-6C Texan II coming in second. POF Commanding General Lt. Gen. Alan Paredes and Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana has already approved the recommendation which will forward it to Malacanang for final approval and the Department of Budget and Management for budget allocation. The KT-1 Wumbi is a single-engine basic intermediate trainer aircraft designed jointly by the South Korean Agency of Defense Development and Korea Aerospace Industries. It is currently built by Kai, and was the first indigenous aircraft developed to meet the requirements of the Republic of Korea Air Force. KT-1 Wumbi is currently in service with Republic of Korea Air Force, Indonesian Air Force, Turkish Air Force, Peruvian Air Force, and Senegalese Air Force. Max Defense Philippines believes that a contract could be signed before the end of the year, but that will depend on how fast the DND process on the procurement of this project.